Hey everyone and welcome back. I know this is kind of a weird angle, but bear with me. Um, the lighting's probably a little rough too. I know it's making some serious um, patterns on the wall. It's kind of a weird time of night. The sun is setting. Um, as you can see, there's some snow out there. Um, I just figured I would I have a few minutes to get sit down and finally fill in some of my empties. Um, you will see a few of these videos in a row, so bear with me. Um, like I said, I literally just got home from work. I'm still in my scrubs from work, um, but I have a bag full of household empties that I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys while I had time. Um, I also will have beauty empties and candle empties that are going to go up at some point this, probably this week or next, so keep an eye out for those if that's something that interests you. Uh, the first thing that I went through is some laundry to, um, fabric softener, I should say. This is the Downy Infusions and in Lavender Serenity. I am not a huge fan of Procter & Gamble products. I kind of boycotted them for a while. Um, if you watch any of my old videos, I would say that I don't buy Procter & Gamble products. But I just found that some of their products are just better than any other brand that I can find out there. One of those things being fabric softener. Um, Snuggle just wasn't doing it for me. So I did go back to this. Um, the Lavender Serenity is probably one of my favorites. I did pick up a new one today. That is a different scent. That smells really good too, but this is always a favorite of mine. I went through one of those. There might be another one in here at some, some point. I did go through two of the Greenworks um, wipes. I am trying my kind of mission this year is to move towards more um, all natural how, um, like health products as well as all natural cleaning products. So I'm slowly working towards that and I found that I really love the Greenworks wipes. These are um, compostable cleaning wipes that are 99% naturally derived and I use these in our bathroom mostly in the bathroom. I used to keep a thing under the kitchen counter, but I just realized in the bathroom is where I like to use them the most. Um, I had a stomach bug a little over a month ago, and so I went through a lot of these during that time for obvious reasons. Um, but also just like on a daily or every other day basis, I like to just wipe the toilet off with them, wipe the um, kitchen or the kitchen, the um, bathroom counters, and like kind of the area around the toilet down. Um, just to keep things nice and clean. So I will definitely re be repurchasing these. I have not yet. Um, I just threw my second one in here the other day. So I need to get some more of those. Um, on that same track, I went through a thing of wet ones. Um, this one actually dried out. Um, I used a few of them and they just dried out. But these are the um, hand sanitizer wipes. Like I said, I had the flu. I wiped everything down with all of these antibacterial um, items. So these little packs I got in the travel section. I actually bought these when we went to Disney, not this past summer, but the summer before. I bought a few of these and we kept these in our backpack that we took into Disney and to the theme parks, I should say, with us. And they were a lifesaver. That's just a travel tip that I would give to you guys whenever you go on trips. Um, I would pack these. Um, I also packed some, I think I threw away when we were on the cruise. I packed some in our beach bag and stuff when we were on our cruise because um, you're using public restrooms and things like that. So just a tip, um, the wet ones wipes are really awesome. I went through a thing of the Tide Pods. These were part of a coupon deal I did a while ago. Um, if I remember, I will try and link that, um, that haul. I really like these. I think that they're really good for small loads of laundry. Um, I don't overpack my washing machine, but I definitely don't do like tiny little loads of laundry. And sometimes I feel like this wasn't quite enough soap for some of our bulkier loads, whether it be a lot of towels or a lot of my husband's work clothes, which is jeans and you know sweatshirts and things like that. So I like these. I just don't know that I get enough out of them. And I think Tide is a little expensive. Um, my husband's actually allergic to Tide. Normally it irritates his skin wherever his clothes rub really close on his skin, like under his arms and things like that. Um, these didn't seem to bother him though. I didn't use them, um, I use them mostly on our towels more than anything. 
Um, I went through a barkeeper's friend. This is a lifesaver. I use this on our, um, I've used it in our bathtub. I don't do that so much anymore because I found things that work a little bit better in like the bottom of our bathtub. But for my um, kitchen sink, which is stainless, this is pretty much all I use. I do prefer the powdered one over the liquid one. I think you just get more uses out of the powder than the liquid. Um, and this is pretty cheap. You can get it anywhere. Barkeeper's Friend. They say that you can use it on any stainless steel. You can use it on chrome, porcelain, fiberglass, ceramic cooktops, copper, tile, and brass. We have a ceramic uh, cooktop. Actually, I think ours might be glass. I don't know. I would never, I wouldn't use that. I think it would scratch it. But for my sink, it works really awesome for my, um, my bar sink and the one up here. I went through one of these Love My Carpet things. This is the Summer's Kiss. If we had nice carpet, I would never suggest using something like this. But we have really awful carpet that I am begging my husband to get rid of. And we, I just haven't won that battle yet. But I feel like this deodorizes really well. Um, we also just got a new vacuum. And I don't know that this is great for your vacuum. So I probably wouldn't recommend this product. But for the fact that we had a crappy vacuum, we had really awful carpet. I didn't think it could hurt anything. And I just got this at the dollar store. And I think it did kind of help um, neutralizing any pet odors or things like that. Um, I liked it. But again... I would use at your own discretion. Um, I went through a thing of, this is just a Spartan ble brand bleach and lavender. I am an avid bleacher when it comes to like towels and bedding. Um, I probably use a little more bleach than I should. But for me, bleach is like the quintessential scent of clean. So I just, I like when, especially if we have company coming over and things, I want those sheets to smell bleach fresh if that makes sense so i did get the lavender one um i'm not like super picky when it comes to different kinds of bleach i usually just pick up the store brand um let's see i went through an all small and mighty and relaxing lavender that's another laundry detergent that i use i liked this um i mentioned in a grocery haul that i probably went up right before this that i've really begun to like the Arm & Hammer. I just think it works a lot better with my husband's work clothes and things like that. Um, but this was really good. Um, and I like that you don't use a ton of it. Sorry if you can hear the dog, she's whining. And I don't know why. I don't know why she's whining. But I do like that. I would possibly repurchase it. Probably not though. Um, it looks like I went through another Greenworks um, thing. I think I bought these in a three pack from Target. It wasn't super expensive, under $10 if I remember correctly for all three of those. And Greenworks is part of the Clorox um, company if you are curious. Um, I went through two of the Works um, toilet bowl cleaners. I get this at the dollar store. Lysol and things with bleach in them are probably my favorite. Like I said, I love just, I like cleaning with bleach. But um, I've gone through two of these. Only one of them says a dollar on it, but I'm pretty sure I got most, both of these from the dollar store. And they were, come on, babe. Hey. And they both work just fine. Um, I went through the Works Tub and Shower Cleaner. This is what I've been using between this and soft scrub in the bottom of my bathtub with a magic eraser and it works really, really well. Um, we don't have like the grippies on the bottom of our bathtub but it is kind of textured and even just with like your feet and everything on it, they kind of look a little dingy sometimes. So with this or like I said, um, soft scrub with bleach of course and a magic eraser, it takes all of that staining right off. And then the last thing I went through is a Fabuloso floor cleaner. I'm not, I like Fabuloso because I think their scents are really strong. This one is, I think, just the, stand, the typical scent. I have the green apple one right now. And I just like the way that they smell. I think they clean my floors fine. Um, I would prefer to get something, like I said, that's disinfecting. But I'm worried about with our dog. Not that I think that this is 
necessary pet friendly. So that is another thing that I want to start looking for in the new year um, or the next time that I have to buy floor cleaner is one that is pet friendly. So those are all the household items that I went through this, um, this time around. If you guys have any household or um, laundry care items that are all natural or are a little bit more like earth friendly, make sure to let, the, um, let me know in the comments below. I would love to check those out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to keep an eye out for my candle empties and my um, beauty empties if that's something that interests you. Those should be up in the next couple days and I will see you all very soon.